Hey guys, hey. we're live here, 8 a.m., February 26, 2022, for day three of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The question on all of our minds right now is, was three days ago, February 24th, was it the start of World War III? And what are the chances this thing could go nuclear? So we're going to get into the updates, the thick of it, the lies that Putin and Russia are telling, the continued brainwashing, the misinformation in legacy media. Uh, let's start with an update on what went down in Kyiv last night as the Russians uh, marched in to take over the capital city. Guys, the thing that the Russian narratives is that they're not they're not targeting civilians, but again, we're going to continue to debunk that and Russia's other lies lies in this live stream. Um, so, where do you want to take it from here, babe? Yeah, let's let's look at Zelensky's uh, address, and then we'll continue. This was uh, when was it, babe? Uh, today morning. Today in the morning. Другий ранок масштабної війни. Четвертої години російські сили продовжували завдувати ракетних ударів по території України. Вони кажуть, що вони кажуть, що цивільні об'єкти для них не міш не міш брехня брехня насправді вони не розрізняють, не розрізняють у яких у яких районах діє. Російським ударом, ударом, як і вчора, як і вчора однаково, однаково знаходяться військові та цивільні. Мета цієї атаки – тиск, 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 тиск на вас, на вас громадяни, громадяни України, тиск, тиск на все наше, на все наше суспільство. суспільство. Я наголошую, не просто, не просто на владу, на, владу, на всіх, на всіх українців. українців. І сьогодні ще, сьогодні більше, ще більше, ніж вчора, вчора. наші хлопці, наші хлопці і, і дівчата. дівчата. Усі захисники України не дали, не дали ворогу реалізувати, реалізувати оперативний замисел вторгнення в перший день. Українці, Українці демонструють справжній героїзм. У більшості, більшості напрямків ворога, ворога зупинили, зупинили йдуть, йдуть бої. бої. Тому атака Росії, атак Росії продовжується із розрахунку, що, що наші сили, сили будуть втомлені. втомлені. Але, Але ми, ми не втомлені. Не втомлені. Сили, сили протиповітряної оборони України захищають наше небо. Наше, наше українське, українське небо. небо. Настільки, 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 настільки це можливо. Це можливо. Авіація, Авіація ворога підло діє над жилими кварталами, кварталами в тому числі, в тому числі в столиці. столиці. Жахливі, Жахливі вибухи у вражньому небі над Києвом. Бомбардування. Влучення у житловий будинок, пожежа. Все це нагадує перший такий же напад на нашу столицю, який відбувся у 1941 році. Цим ранком ми захищаємо нашу державу наодинці. Як і вчора, найпотужніші сили світу спостерігають здалеку. Чи переконали Росії вчорашні санкції? Ми чуємо у своєму небі і бачимо на своїй землі, що цього недостатньо. Чужі війська все ще намагаються активізуватись на нашій території. Тільки солідарність, тільки рішучість українців здатна зберегти нашу свободу і захистити державу. Армія, 
прикордонники, Національна гвардія, поліція, розвідка, сили територіальної оборони, усі виконують свої завдання по максимуму. Дуже важливо, щоб сьогодні наші громадяни, наші, всі наші люди продемонстрували також максимальну витримку і взаємопідтримку. Піклуйтесь про своїх рідних, про своїх близьких, але не забувайте також про людей, які поруч з вами. Тих, хто самотній, хто старшого віку. Допомагайте їм, допомагайте з продуктами, допомагайте а, знайти укриття, коли діє повітряна тривога. Допомагайте з доступом до перевіреної офіційної інформації. Зупиняйте ворога всюду. Всюду, де ви бачите. Доля України залежить тільки від нас, від українців. Ніхто інший, окрім нас, не буде керувати нашим життям. Ми на своїй землі. За нами правда. Знищити наш характер не вийде. Ракети калібр безпорадні проти нашої свободи. Росії все одно доведеться рано чи пізно говорити з нами, говорити про те, як закінчити бойові дії і зупинити це вторгнення. Чим швидше розмова почнеться, тим меншими будуть втрати самої Росії. Уважаємі граждані Російської Федерації, як я вже і сказав, сьогодні ночі почали бомбити жилі квартали міста Героя Київ. Це все напоминає 1941 год. Всім гражданам Російської Федерації, які виходять на протести, хочу сказати, ми вас бачимо. Це значить, що ви нас услышали. Це значить, ви нам починаєте вірити. Боритесь за нас, боритесь проти війни. Шановні громадяни України, захищаємось, не зупиняємось. Слава вам, слава нашій армії, слава Україні! Guys, we're gonna play this uh, video and we'll be right back. Владимир Путин, обращаются к вам дети Украины. Отзовите свои войска. Since uh, it was uh, it's calling of the girl who called Putin to call back their army from Ukraine because uh, you know they in Russian news they talk about that they don't uh, they talk only about the Donetsk and Lugansk third third day war continue there is nothing in the news in Russia that uh, they attack all over Ukraine they talk only about Donetsk and uh, the problem is that they attack yesterday they attack one kindergarten I thought Zelensky would tell about this but it's probably different video uh, uh, orphanage house uh, where one child uh, dead for for now one girl seven years old and uh, kindergarten she is, was in kindergarten uh, in the uh, Sumer region of Tirka uh, yesterday what is that is uh, it's Ukrainian Nazist children or who who in Ukraine assist we just don't get this idea you know only partially Russian people still believe in this propaganda it's makes doesn't make any sense you know yeah, guys. Because all the words talk about Ukraine they all send us they are, you know, support, financial, moral, emotional, sanctions, whatever, you know. <sighs> yeah, guys, it's, it's shaping up day by day, hour by hour, that we're, we're fighting against Hitler or Stalin, re, you know, reincarnated, incarnate. And the question is, you know, I don't know how the world sits back and idly by as this thing unfolds. He's not stopping <laughs> at Ukraine. Um, listen, some stats. So he says, Putin says he has no casualties. And check it out. He's brought in these uh, crematoriums, these portable crematoriums. This is what he plans on doing with his dead. But he maintains not one loss of life when on Ukraine's side, the body count, the Russian body count is 3,500 is our best source of information right now. We don't have a reported number about Ukrainian casualties right now. Um, but again, it's 
the propaganda again in Russia that uh, he doesn't want the Russian people to know the body count, that they're losing a lot of Russian soldiers already. And I, Ukraine asked for help from Red Cross to come and to take care about dead bodies, Russian all over Ukraine, because even even he don't use this uh, crematorium for, you know, soldiers. They just lay down and, you know, it's... it's a, yeah, they're scattered all over. They're not dealing with the bodies uh, at all. It's hard. He don't care about the life people. Why he would care about dead people? That's that's the reality of Putin. So let's talk about the Ukrainian spirit. Let's talk about what are Ukraine's chances now, okay? Um, I'm a lot more optimistic today. Um Check out these soldiers, these are videos from the Ukrainian soldiers, and we'll be right back. What's the basic translation of that thing? That's a lot, but they give uh, swear that they will protect. They pledge their, their land. allegiance. Yeah, their land, their uh -huh. their woman, their you know their mm -hmm. their land. Yeah, their people. You know. They embrace, embrace, embrace every, everybody, you know. Mm -hmm. too. Okay, this one we have a transcription for, so check out uh, these Ukrainian soldiers. Yes, those who say that they're in panic, they get in panic, you know. And there is fake news that uh, Zelensky uh, uh, asked people to give up. To, oh, um, yeah. Yeah, he filmed uh, just today, this morning, he said, don't trust fake news, we, we stand up, we stand up for our land, please uh, don't trust this. So our army also made video to okay, show right their back. mood. Yeah. It was. Я Салатом Касаман Павлович, старший лейтенант Збройних Сил України, командир піхотної роти. А це мої бійці. Нас немає ні страху, ні паніки. Ми не складемо зброю. І не дозволимо жодним тиранам, жодним вбивцям диктувати нам власну волю. Ми від, не віддамо жодного міліметру власної землі. Можливо, це наше останнє відео. Я не знаю, був я хорошою людиною чи поганою, це скаже лише Бог. Але я знаю, я хороший громадянин і я хороший солдат. Я захист своєї країни, її запорука в мирі і щит, і меч під час війни. Хто б ви не були? Сколько бы вас не было, идите сюда, и вы познаете наш гнев и нашу людь. Забирайтеся с нашей земли. Мы будем биться до последнего набоя. А когда они скончатся, мы будем биться голеруч. Мы будем биться на земле и на воде, и под землей, и в небе. Никто из вас не вернется звідси живым. Вы все сдохнете, а наша страна будет квитуча и вольна. Слава Украине! Героям слава! Slava Ukraine! Glory to Ukraine. I mean, isn't that moving, guys? I mean, Ukrainian soldiers, the morale is high because they're defending their country, their families, their children. Their lives are on the line. I mean, what a cause. Whereas the Russians are they, attacking their little sister. It's, uh, you know, who is Russian soldiers? We, we caught... Uh, uh, prisoners now, Russian. Uh, prisoners two, of war, how many, two, 200? 200, yeah. And uh, when they film them, they ask to call their mothers, ask to call Putin to stop this war. You know, it's what Ukrainian people do with prisoners. They ask to call mm -hmm. to Russia and, you know, uh, tell them there is no there is no genocide, you know. You come to Ukraine, you see that we peaceful people, we want to stop war, we, we don't want war. And uh, uh, we see it's it's a guy's like 20 years old. They they said we wasn't training, we didn't expect we will come to Ukraine. And then when they appear here, many, they, they run away, they don't want to fight, you know, but those who already, you know, not everybody run, of course. Um, and it's very pity and very sad to see, you know, because it's like, 
you see very often all over Ukrainian groups that uh, uh, they try to agree, you know, like Ukrainian person talk to Russian, I will not kill you, but don't touch me, you know, you need to understand if you will go on us, I will protect my family, you know, and I will use gun, but they try even to like, yeah, because we all understand it's our brothers and sisters and it's just politics and, but Ukrainian soldiers have to defend themselves. Put up this, look at this question. I'm hearing Russia is going to be able to overtake them in about a month, praying for. Okay, we have unconfirmed reports, unconfirmed right, about report. Putin, what Putin is saying. You want to talk about that, babe? Okay, let's eliminate it. Just looking at some but, questions. Uh, yeah, there was, uh, it's not confirmed information again, but... Uh, but it gave us hope, you know, that uh, was a meeting at night, Putin in, in Urals now, and uh, he he's very angry, and uh, he they discuss financial losses, because uh, war costs $20 billion a day, and they did expect to take over Ukraine in from one to four days, and it just didn't happen. They didn't expect for such a big, such big uh, resistance from, you know, and... Ukrainian army that they will fight and uh, uh, now uh, he's mad Putin mad and uh, uh, he was thought it will be an easy ride and uh, they don't have enough uh, army supply now uh, rockets they don't have enough uh, uh, and they cannot uh, produce new weapons because a plant can produce uh, uh, in the uh, in next uh, three four months because uh, raw materials from what they normally do it, uh, it it was from provided from slovenia finland and germany and now they are blocked you know these raw materials uh, so uh, we even have uh, like you know russia now go to everywhere Ky kyrgyzstan they um, they go to uh, Kazakhstan uh, to ask their forces to come to Ukraine and access to Ga Kazakhstan. Uh, their president, they they, they turned Putin down. Yeah, they refused to send troops to Ukraine. It was their official. They did a Madonna, Madonna. Yeah. Have you seen Madonna's video to Putin? Yeah. We'll show you at the end. Mm -hmm. Go Madonna. Yeah. So basically, uh, they uh, now talk in Russia that uh, if Ukraine uh, will hold uh, out for ten days, uh, then then they will have to sit down on a negotiation table. Uh, so we don't know how you know it's how if, if it's true and how long. But basically, uh, they yeah they, they they didn't expect it will be like it is now ukraine defend for for now we have all big cities under control of ukraine nothing lose for now you know small villages maybe somewhere they were taken but they're claiming the russians are claiming that they have uh, taken <laughs> over mel, mel, how do you say melitopol melitopol mm -hmm. melitopol half yeah. half of melitopol is actually half ukrainian half so they're in saying, reality, yeah, no, no. I, I watched video today from you from Melitop, but the guy was in the center. He shows Ukrainian flag. He say it's under control. Uh, so it's still but, Ukraine. Yes. So they haven't taken over any Ukrainian any cities. Any big city. Any, any big, big city. Yes. Um, they, they didn't take it. It's a big fight everywhere, all over Ukraine. So uh, let's play uh, and a few more why videos. is that? Because you see how tough Ukrainian math. Look, it's just a civilian. What he's doing? Yeah, he he. He's in for a heck of a fight. Check out the civilian. There he is. Yeah, he's right there. You see him? There he is. Stop the whole thing. I mean, that's a testament to the Ukrainian spirit. Again, uh, civilians, they've handed out machine guns to civilians. Anyone with a passport can get a, a machine gun to defend your land. So it's not just, it's not just um, Ukraine's military. 250,000, uh, 250, yeah, plus reserves, 250,000 troops. You're talking about civilians all over armed with machine guns. 
and you can see the Ukrainian spirit. So I'm still hopeful that Ukraine can triumphant through this thing and we don't end up in World War III. Because it's best, of course, of Ukraine. I mean, if you can create, Ukraine can defend itself alone, okay, without anybody interfering, we won't likely have World War III, right? It's just when other countries, if NATO gets involved, and other countries actually start marching in and defending Ukraine, well, World War III. Yeah. For now, Poland sent a lot of equipment to Ukraine. Uh, we yeah, will, yeah, we will talk about, we can show you in yeah. the picture. Poland's Poland. actually rolling in mm -hmm. heavy artillery and trucks. On a side note, guys, about 50,000 Yeah, about 50,000 Ukrainians have already fled across the border to the to the neighboring countries. About the border situation, I only really know about Poland firsthand because I have a buddy that's literally last night they waited yesterday they waited 10 hours uh, and they drove and filmed the long the, the vehicle lineup to the Polish border. Uh, it was and they waited 10 hours and then they gave up they went back and slept for the night. They came back today and now it's 40 hours is the wait to cross the Polish border as of this morning. Yeah, so people just start um, to adjust to this condition, what they can do, you know. And uh, let's show a little bit more about what's going on in... Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's more it's videos. A, yeah, it's a um, avenue uh, of... Uh, Vin Avenue, Peremove. <laughs> Российские номера за заклеены и трохи подбили российской техники под сумами. Точнее, что это окраина сум, блядь. Просто трэш. And if you talk about uh, no civilians uh, under attack, let's watch this video. Такой у нас дом после того, как разбомбила. Дырка. Сегодня 25 числа, 25 февраля 2022 года, война. Неизвестно, какой снаряд. Это равнополье. После обстрела. Блять, и там горит. Горит там горит, и тут все горит. Ты за не потушишь. Так ведро не потуши такую, блядь. Машину, блядь, надо этого. Пожарку. А куда вызвать? То осколками ее побило.
so they will give up you know it's their plan it's actually a master plan to create this um uh, big panic and so they will surrender themselves and Zelensky will run and uh, they expect that uh, first Kharkov will surrender and the rest of cities will follow his example to uh, you know to avoid uh, avoid uh, deaths uh, uh, and uh, let, let, uh, can I also add Tara, about, about right, this uh, right. about uh, how they uh, there is a lot of Russian uh, army in, in Ukraine you know it's like not when uh, when second world war was you can easily understand who is Russian and who is uh, I mean who is Germany and who is you know Russian so you can easy to understand your enemy but now Russian soldiers they speak Russian and you cannot realize it's your Ukrainian they sometimes wear Ukrainian forms even you know and uh, uh, they they running everywhere doing marks, you know. And uh, Ukrainian Ukraine now people they they decided all army speaks only Ukrainian. It's the only way how you will define, you know, that it's yours, you know, your. Um, and uh, they do uh, this Russian soldiers. They do marks on the uh, civil houses on the top roof, top roof. So when bombs. Uh, uh, falling down, they, they know specifically what to bomb. It's it's a, it's a peaceful people dying, and uh, uh, government ask uh, uh, people to check uh, the roof to see if there is marks to put sand on marks, uh, and it's how they can save their buildings from being bombed, bombing, from being bombing. Here's Tara piping up again. So so Tara, they're going to hunt us down personally, the Chechen soldiers. But this is a scary point. There's a video, we didn't cue it up to play, but you can Google it, it's on YouTube. They're mounting, or allegedly, it's, it's, we're trying to only report what we can see is likely verified information, right? Because there's a lot of misinformation and, and fake news out there, but it looks like uh, Putin is mounting a, a, a private militia, a Chechen militia, that looks like to be thousands and thousands. They look like ninjas with the black helmets on. They were just all out there. Um, well, we hope that's not the case. We hope that's not the case. Real Chechen first people, they send the videos to Ukrainian. They, they, they share with their compassion for, you know, Ukrainian go through this. But army Chechen is a different story. It's a, it's a warrior and it's tough, really tough. And if that's true, they're going to come. It will be really hot spring and hot summer and it will be a disaster if it will happen. Let's take a look at what Let's, Madonna what, prepared. Madonna, what's the world uh, in, in Georgia? So many people, they gather, uh, they gather uh, at the main, uh, um, uh, main uh, square uh, asking to uh, a premier minister to, to go to live uh, because he don't want support sanctions against Ukraine, uh, against uh, Russia. And uh, they very support Ukrainian people. They scream uh, glory to Ukraine. And uh, it's actually all over the world. So many people share with compassion to, you know, and understand the situation in Ukraine. What and Matthew said that uh, at the hands of invaders, it's now 200 civilians were killed including three children, 1,115 people wounded, in which 33 children, and it's peaceful, it's operation, yeah, Russian do to protect Russia when killing children and making them wounded. Uh, Slava Ukraine, glory to Ukraine. They're in our prayers. Let's finish again with the prayer. Yeah. Um, to Ukraine, if everybody could please, you know, while the song is song prayer is playing, just hold Ukraine up in prayer, and it's people it to be brave. В одну хвилину може він змінити все в нашій країні. Господь благає мо тебе, даруй спасіння Україні. Боже, Україну збережи, Господи, помилуй грішних, змилися над нами і прости. Yeah.
там в цій країні, якщо не ступишся, Господь, загине наша Україна, Боже, Україну збережи, Господи, помилуй грішних, змилися над нами і прости. Ми весь світ 